Okay guys, to start off, I'm going to be taking my Cetaphil Daily Moisturizer with SPF 15. I'm going to apply that all over my face just to moisturize my face and give myself some sun protection. I'm going to take the Ordinary Alpha Abutane with Hyaluronic Acid. I'm also going to take the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid with B5. I always have a hard time pronouncing Hyaluronic Acid. And my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. And I'm going to apply that all over my face just to keep my face moisturized. Next up, I'll be using my Laura Mercier Hydrating Foundation Primer just to prime my face and make my makeup stay all day. Next, I'm going to do my brows. I like to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Fit Brow Pomade in Ebony. And I'm going to fill in my brows and fill in all the sparse areas because your girl has no brows and I need to have brows. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to fill in all these past areas. Fo just follow the natural shape of my brows. Nothing too crazy, nothing too much. I'm going to take a spoolie and I'm just going to brush up the hairs of my brows. After doing that, I'm going to clean up my brows with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amand. I'm going to just put that underneath my eyebrows, just to clean it up. <laughs> and once I'm done doing that, I'm just going to blend in that concealer, guys. You always want to blend in your concealer when you clean up your brows. Next up, I'm going to be trying the Fenty foundation actually for the first time. I'm going to mix it with my Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. And I'm going to just apply both of them all over my face. And blend it in with a blending brush. I think this foundation is actually too orange for me. The Fenty foundation is too orange for me. But yeah, this is the point I realized I messed up. Like you guys, your girl messed up. Like this foundation is actually too orange for my skin. But we're going to try to make it work and... Yeah, I might have applied a bit too much foundation, honestly. <laughs> yeah, we're going to try to make it work. Um, see, when I apply too much foundation like this, I advise that you use your Beauty Blender just to take off the excess and press it into your skin. Take off the excess foundation and blend that foundation into your skin to give you a flawless canvas just like this. I don't know how, but I managed to make it work. Next up, I'm going to take my Cover FX Power Play Concealer in Deep 3. Also going to take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amand and I'm just going to use those two concealers to highlight my face. So I'm going to put it underneath my eyes, I'm going to put it in the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and basically everywhere that I need to bring light to my face. <laughs> I'm just going to take that and apply it all over my face, I'm going to take a beauty blender and I'm going to blend that concealer into my skin. As much as possible next I'll be using my Sasha buttercup setting powder to set my face and the parts of my face that I apply concealer I'm also going to be doing reverse contouring where I apply setting powder right there below my cheekbones <laughs> just to give it a bit more definition and to make my contour stand out a bit more but yeah next up I'm going to be contouring my face with the sleek face contour in 03 I'm going to take the darkest shade right there and I'm going to just lightly press that and rub that into the hollows of my cheeks just so my contour lines are not too harsh and so everything looks seamless and flawless i'm also going to do that the bridges of my nose and my temples as well my jaw lines basically every single part of my face that feels like it needs some depth and some shadows <laughs> i'm just going to take a brush and i'm going to brush off and dust off that excess setting powder of my face like so i'm just going to take the brush and dust off the excess setting powder of my face next i'm going to be lining my eyes with the rimmel london eyeliner in black i like this so much because it makes it really easy for me to line my waterline without smudging and getting it you know you know what i mean Next, I'll be taking my Rimmel Mascara in 3D and my Maybelline Colossal Mascara in black. And I like to layer these for days where I'm not wearing lashes because I feel like the two of them really bring out 
and really bring out my lashes and makes them pop a lot. Pick my slick face form, which is my favorite, to highlight my face. I'm going to use the lighter shade and the second lighter shade just to give myself some highlights on my cheekbones. The highest points of your face, basically your cheekbones, the bridge of your nose, your cupid's bow, right underneath your brows, everywhere that needs some light. Next, we take in my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in a dark deepest, and I'm going to apply that all over my face just to blend everything together and make everything look seamless and flawless. Next, I'm taking my Auburn Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, which is oops. <laughs> which is my favorite setting spray to set my face and I'm just going to spray that all over my face so for my lips the first option is a nude lip I'm going to line my lips with my slick lip liner in chocolate I really like this because it's close to my skin tone and it's really easy for me to work with like it's really soft unbelievably soft I'm just going to apply that all over my lips and line my lips once I'm done doing that, I'm going to be taking my lipstick, which is Makeup for Mel Melanin Girls Lipstick in Flesh. I like this because it's like a nice, subtle, nude chocolate. Like, it's not too dark, but yeah, it looks really good on your skin. And my Laura Geller Lip Gloss in Nude. And that is it, guys. You have your nude lipstick. It's really easy to do a nude lip. Just need three things only. Okay, next is my hair. I'm just going to prep my hair and brush up my own hair and apply a wig cap i'm going to be doing quick easy loose waves to start off i'm going to take my got to be blasting free spray and i'm just going to spray it all over my wig cap so my lace can stay in place and so my lace doesn't move throughout the day i actually just freshly washed this weave or this wig so i haven't like applied anything on it i just washed it freshly last night and i'm just going to brush it down and yeah so to make it sleek i like to apply the garnier fructis sleek and shine i think that's what it's called all over my hair just to give it a bit of a shine and to bring more color back to it i'm going to take a uh, one inch i think this is a one inch wand and i'm just going to curl it away from my face i'm running late you guys and i'm running short of time so i just like to take bits and pieces of my hair and curl it i also use this big curling <laughs> i don't know what i was doing i also use this big curling wand as well to give some big waves so i like when i'm doing loose waves i like to have waves of different sizes so it doesn't look like i actually rushed i figure that this big curling wand makes it really easy for me to take chunks of my hair and you know make it curl up without having to spend a lot of time once i'm done curling my hair i'm just going to use my hands as well to brush out the curls and I'll be using my John Frieda Freeze Ease Serum just to keep everything in place, make it look good, sleek, and shiny, you guys. So my second lip option will be a red lip. So if you're feeling bold like I was feeling this day, I'm just going to line my lips with a brown lip liner. I don't really like using red. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm going to line my lips with a brown lip liner, and I'm going to apply my lip stain, which is Sephora Lip Stain in Rouge. I'm just going to apply that all over my lips and yeah this I just apply like two layers and it lasts all day I made sure to leave the link to everything down below and where I got everything down in the description box so don't forget to check that out so for my outfit I wanted something really easy so I picked a denim top with a pair of jeans as well and some nice brown or cognac sandals and green bag just because I wanted something really easy, I was going downtown, I was going to be walking a lot and I needed to be comfortable and I still wanted to feel cute for brunch. And that is it guys. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this and if you would like to see more Get Ready With Me. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. And see you guys in my next video. Bye!